So in this video, let's talk about RBD Labs, which is all about the cell fracture and mm, destroying things. So let's start off, we're gonna quickly create a scene. Let's delete the default cube, add in a cube, scale that up, and this is gonna be our ground plane, just something like that. Now, we've probably already seen the result that we're gonna make now. So we'll start with severe. Shift A, let's add in our UV sphere, G to the Z. We'll just push that up a little bit. I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode, right click and subdivide, just to give it a little bit of extra love. Now let's go ahead and start doing all the particle stuff. Now it's been a massive update with the 1.1.1D version. And it's a lot easier here. It runs a lot smoother. And we're just gonna kind of go through the basics of it. Um, and then we'll probably make some more advanced stuff in the future. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, it really helps me out, keeps updating my content, bam. So with the fracture, what I'm just gonna do is rather than create, actually we'll show, I'll go own particles. And you can see that it splits off into its uh, already a cell fracture. I can go control Z, um, we can add in with a pen. So I kind of want it to split through there, fracture. And hopefully it splits through the center there. Eh, yeah, kinda. So most of the splits are along there. They're not really along the top. Not exactly what I want. I'm just gonna go child verts and go fracture. Now this is gonna take a little bit, but it's gonna give me a whole bunch of small pieces, which is exactly what I want. So you can see now that we've got a whole bunch of little pieces. So if I just go G, you can see that they're very tiny, lovely, exactly what we want. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the fracture now because it's exactly what I want, bam. Let's come back up into the top here and from fact, fracture, we move on to physics. Beautiful. Now there's a few things here. I'm going to add rigid bodies. So now if I press add rigid bodies and press play, because there's so many cells, it's going to go a little bit slow. So let's buffer this out quickly. And stupid me forgot to put rigid body on the floor. So let's just quickly select the floor um, into the physics rigid body and we're going to set that as a passive now i can add a ground layer in there but i'll just do it manually so from here now let's press play and let's give it a sec and when we press play you can see that it shatters now what's actually happening is before it even hits the ground it's already breaking apart not exactly what i want so from here what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to press deactivation and now that's going to make this sphere start deactivated until something else hits it so we'll make sure we hit update because we changed that. Now if I press play, nothing happens. Cool bananas, that's what we expect. So let's add in something else to hit this ball. So I'm just gonna shift A, let's go UV sphere, make it small, G to the Z. Gonna move it over just a smidgen, something like that. Let's go add rigid body. Um, we will make it active, yes, mass. I'm gonna make it a ton. And the other thing as well is because I'm currently in the sphere collection, everything I do here is gonna affect that sphere. Not exactly what I want. So I'm just gonna move it out of the collection and just put it into the default collection. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press play now and you'll see that the ball falls down slowly. And there we go. So let me just buffer this out really quick. And if we have a look, we can see that the ball hits it and it kind of shatters everywhere. Still not the results that I'm after, but we've got some overcoming here. So we can see that the ball's already starting to fall even before it hits it. So what I like to do is change the shape of our um, ball that we're hitting from convex hull to mesh. And so that'll be kind of like the rigid body that it's taken all that information from. Now the next thing I'm going to add as well is glue. So I want the pieces to be stuck together um, so they don't just kind of explode or fall apart very easily. So let's add a glue constraint. And I'm gonna just add one glue. And because we've got the severe low collection, everything that I'm doing in this menu applies to that collection. So that's why we had to remove that severe from the collection. Um, what we might do is I'm just gonna go into 150 and I'm just gonna bake this out. So let's check it out. <laughs> I think the glue strength's a little bit too high. <laughs> so the glue strength of five is a really good number. I forgot to press update when I went from 420 down to one. So that's why we had the same thing there. Um, delete all bakes, 
Bake all dynamics, and then this is what we've got. Now, what we can do from here is add extra detail. So we can actually come back up here to the top and we can go into particles and we can actually add debris. Now for this scene, it doesn't really work. Um, I would rather be putting it, maybe if we're smashing up against the wall and we'll do that in a sec. But for now, let's just go create debris. And then if we come back to the start, doesn't work here. I'm actually a really big fan of what we got here. So let's leave it as is and let's go break a wall. So here is our wall and I've already added in a kind of like a pole that's gonna swing around and smack the wall. So obviously we know here, this is where it's gonna break. Now with this pole, I'm just gonna quickly add a rigid body to it. Active, yes. Animated, yes. From here, let's come into our wall annotation. Um, let's come into our pens. And this is kind of like where it's gonna split. Now to make life easier as well, I'm gonna draw a line here just to make sure it splits along there. And let's just come into edit mode and I'm just gonna add in just a little bit of extra geometry. Um, from here, let's go into fracture and let's have a look at what this wall is gonna look like fractured. And we can see that we've got this kind of break that's gonna be happening right in the center here. Perfect, exactly what I want. So from here, I'm gonna go apply fracture now. Let's come into physics, uh, the material, let's leave it as concrete. Let's go ahead, add rigid body. Straight away, let's add in that deactivation so that as soon as the animation starts, nothing happens. So we'll update on that one. Blah, 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 blah. Breakable glue, do we want glue? Go on, let's go five on the glue add glue constraint, blah, 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 blah. Let's just go 150 frames, set the animation down to 150. Um, from here, let's just go bake and we'll have a look what it looks like. So it looks like we have that problem where it's going before it actually reaches it. So let's go ahead and select that. Let's just make sure we apply our scale and we will change this from convex hole to mesh. And let's go delete all bakes, bake all dynamics again. Now this one's obviously a lot faster because there's a lot less pieces. So let's go ahead and press play. How is that looking much, much better? Uh, yeah. So from here, what we can do is we can actually come up into uh, the particle system. And now we can go ahead and create debris. From here, let's just press play. And let's have a look. So you can just see that there was a whole bunch of debris that was created. I think a little bit too much. So we can probably bring it down to maybe five piece, five debris per piece. Nice. Um, and what happens is the debris kind of just falls away. And I think that's just the way it's been designed because it looks like there's a particle system that's being created on every piece. Um, so yeah, let's leave it as is on that one. We can even come in and make that particle piece even smaller. So maybe like 0.02. Let's update that one back to the start. There we go. Just so there's kind of like a little, just a few pieces coming through. Now the cool thing we can do as well is if we want to kind of keep this wall, in, wall intact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a whole bunch. Let's make sure we deselect our floor plane. I can come up here into object. Let's go into rigid body and let's go add passive. And so what's gonna happen now is I've already baked all the animation. Let's come back into physics and we're gonna delete all bakes, bake all that animation again. And now what should happen is that um, these pieces here should stay and these should all go. So if we come back to the start and press play, perfect. However, we still do have particle system on this one. So let's maybe come up to the top here, uh, back into particles. Let's just go remove debris and then we'll go create debris. There we go. And that's going to look a lot better now. So when we press play, we can see that only the debris is appearing on these pieces, no longer this one. It's not exactly what I'm after. Let's go 0.02 on this one, update. 
And now hopefully we've just got kind of like a little bit of dust. Yeah, there we go. Look at all, we've just got little, little pieces in there. Mm. Beautiful. And obviously we can come in, we've got more options. We can add in dust as well. So we can go create dust. Let's just have a look what this looks like as well. Eh, that's a little bit extreme. Let's remove that dust because that's not exactly what we want. We can also go through and add in some smoke effect. However, I'm not going to do it on this one. If you want to see that, you got to subscribe, sunshine.